see where we are with the match records. So if we log in as a user attached to a team and go to the members home, you'll see there's now a new button now, season match record charts. So if we click on that, we now get the app for that and if it's on a mobile that will automatically adjust so I'll show you shortly. So here we come to the enter match results. So we select the season for this uh, team attached to this user and we select the match. Then any results we've already added will automatically appear below and for this particular match we, as you can see we've already added all seven um, matches. So if we go to a different match, so let's go to match 8, I think, uh, yeah, we've got no results in there yet for that one. So if we go to match 8, and then we can select a player from the drop-down list. Um, initially, the first time they add any records, there will be no players in the list. And they simply add the new player to the list there. Once the player is added, that will then be there for the rest of the season to automatically pick without having to uh, re-add the player and there is a little um, help there to tell them how that works so if we say the first player today at this particular match the White Eagles versus Oldbridge boys was Barry White and he won his match so we add the result he then appears in the bottom Barry White won if we then said that uh, Peter Smith lost his match, then he appears there. And of course we need to put seven matches in for um, each match um, to get the overall result. So we've got four in there at the moment. So who am, uh, let's have Linda Lane lost. So we've got five now. So if we add another another one and one more, so now we've got all seven um, results. So we've got three five wins and two losers. Um, if we'd entered one by mistake we just select it and remove it and he's gone out. So let's put him back in again now because we do want him. Okay so he's in there. So now we've entered all for that particular match and then you just do the same for the next matches as and when they turn up. Um, and then we can preview the chart. Now this won't preview very well on a mobile device so uh, it's best to view it on a PC or tablet but now we can preview the chart and as you can see with this is the one we just entered and we've got three wins, five wins and two losers so the score was 5-2 and we won overall and the number of player wins is automatically calculated across there and you won't believe what a nightmare it was to get these to go um, rotate at 90 degrees. Um, and the actual queries to create this grid is uh, phenomenal. But we've got there. Um, so, and then when you print, if you want to print the, uh, the grid, then you just simply click the print button, select the item, uh, the dot, the uh, printer that you want to print it to um, and then it's printed and it will remove the button while it prints so it doesn't print the button on the um, on the print and the button will reappear after a few seconds there we go um, so that's as simple as that now if we go back to the um, menu. I've got a couple of little things I've still got to do. I want to put a return button on there. Um, if we go back here and log out 
and now we log in as a landlord who will have more than one team attached to him so we log into him go to the landlord's home go to the season match records and now you will see that it's slightly different because he's got to select the team as well as the season and the match so if he selects one of his teams and the season um, if there's any results already in they will appear down there um, and the match because he's got to select the match as well and then there's some results he's already already added for that one um, and then you can do the same with the other teams etc and again depending on what team and everything he's got selected here he can again view the chart for that particular team okay so that's that works exactly the same way as I say you add the results in the same way select the players from the list and he can add the players that will appear for the whole team for the team for the whole season um, so if we go back now and log out and we log in as admin right password so if you log in as admin and go to the admin home we now got an extra button in the admin menu and here we can pick any season and any team and we will get the chart um, and, and in this case uh, I added some players that haven't played every match and some that have and as you can see that fits everything in nicely and you get the total wins at the end and again if you want to print it will remove all the headers and um, uh, buttons everything there when you click the print button We now look at the printout. There we go. You can see it's removed all of the headers and everything, and the print button, and you just end up with the actual document. So done that with. So then you get your, your print out and that will fit the page nicely. Okay, so there it is. I've still got a little bit of work to do just to tidy up some of the code and to add a couple of buttons for return to the menu on the uh, um, on, on the team manager's uh, page so that it goes straight back to the menu. But we're almost there. Okie dokie. Okay, so if, if you want to, when they view it on a mobile device, obviously the app will look like that. You can go to add results, enter the match results, and everything will be there. Select the season, uh, select the match, and so on. And the results would appear in the bottom there um, so if we look at match one we've added some results there and they can add the results and if they try to add more than there is number of matches uh, or games in each match or legs whichever you want to call them then it won't add the result again so you can only add a maximum of seven losers or wins in each uh, each match and then on a um, tablet that would look something like that 
so again it re readjusts to the tablet the only thing as I said before when you preview the charts on a tablet or a mobile you will find it will be a little bit difficult to read it's best to view those on a PC okay Your dream.